Okay, so hey guys, All what right. is going on? It is John and Victor from New Tech Weekly. New Tech Weekly, here we are. And today we are doing We're talking about. Uh, just a podcast uh, of the about Note 8. The phone. About the Note 8. Yeah, the Note 8. The good the N-O-T-E-8. and the eight. Yeah. Okay. Um, the good and the bad parts of it. Um, I personally yeah. rather get a Galaxy S8 than a Note 8, but I mean that's my personal opinion. Victor would rather get an it's iPhone. It's a personal fact. It's a personal fact. Victor would rather get an iPhone than either of them, but I mean. Yes. But if there's only if, if there's only those two phones in the world, you'd probably get the Galaxy S8, right? Mm, no, I would get a Note 8. Personally. I personally it does have more features. It has shorter battery life, three hundred more dollars. But yeah, you're talking about a world with infinite money. Yeah, pretty much. We first got to talk about some of the good things, and you know, honestly, honestly, I really, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. There, there's a special opportunity for former Galaxy Note Seven owners. So. If you're one of those people, if you're still alive, there's a special opportunity. If you made it through that. Yep. So you can get a Note 8 probably for like $300 off. Yep. And your life. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that's... I would not trust Samsung if I had a, a set of a um, Note 8, though. But anyways, so in order to be fair, you know, it has a bigger screen... For all, I think the iris scanning's the same. The camera is better because it has two lenses, so you can zoom in. Um, those are the only things that are better, though. I mean, they say yeah. like the S Pen's better. There's like the only thing that's new about this is the dual camera and the infinity the, screen. Bigger, the infinity screen compa- compared to compared to the Note Seven, though. Compared to the Galaxy S Eight, it's not. It's, it's, we have to compare this to the S Eight because yeah. The thing we have is, to compare it to the S8, though. So, yeah. The Infinity Display is not new. It's It was around since the S8. And honestly, personally, you know, the technology's been around since the S6 Edge. So, it's not new technology. It's not really innovation. I mean, there's nothing... Like, people attack Apple all the time for not being innovative. There's really nothing innovative about the S8. I mean, like, I, I would, like... It, the screen is cool, I mean, but it's the same screen as the S8. I'm not going to let a 0.1 inch difference affect my opinion on a phone. Um, but, you know, the dual camera, I mean, sure, it's a great dual camera, but, I mean, was the dual camera a problem on someone's old phone? I mean, most cameras on smartphones are good these days. I mean, you don't really need a dual camera to have a good camera. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean if, if you don't want if you don't want to spend a thousand dollars on a Galaxy Note eight, or if you don't want to spend seven hundred dollars on a Galaxy S eight, you could just get a Galaxy S seven Edge, and you'll get a you'll you'll get a good four K camera and a good ten eighty p front facing camera. Um, you'll get the same you'll get pretty much the same as the Galaxy Note as the Galaxy uh, S eight and Note eight, just just for just that little bit just that little bit you know less. So personally, I I I would I would get an S seven Edge now, or or you can get a Galaxy S eight or Note eight if you want to, but I personally hold on, my an, another um, an, uh, but like, you could just wait. You could just get a Galaxy S seven now. Wait two years until they come out with something new, you know. Yeah, so. I I do understand what you're saying, but I mean. Honestly, you are you bring up a good point. Samsung hasn't really done anything since the S7. Well, not really the, S6. the S6. The S6. The S6. The S6. Well, I mean, not Display the... Display-wise, S- Sam- the S7. Samsung has been... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, the, the S7 has had a curved display. The S6 had a curved display. The S5 had waterproofing. Well, water resistance, like, not waterproof. This stuff has waterproof. all been around. It's just... Now it's all put into one phone. Yeah. Well, the th- the thing that they the thing that they did change with the, with the uh, Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge is that they made the camera just just a little bit slimmer. They made the camera, you know, so it wasn't sticking out cuz that was a major flaw in the Galaxy S6. The Galaxy S7 also brought back the waterproof uh ma- making it waterproof with the 
beauty of the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge, as opposed to having the removable back of the um, Galaxy S5 and, you know, further, you know, further down. Also, what it did um, is that it basically... Ju I, I, I know because I have this, but I have the Galaxy S7 Edge. Um, one thing that one there is one problem with the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge though. Um, my parent, both my parents' phones, both my parents' phones, um, their 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 speaker where you put it up to their ear to to your ear and you listen to it, that's like kind of blown, you know? Huh. No offense. So well, the thing is, is I think is is I think that they that they were they had the volume up too loud. So definitely one warning is you don't want to blow your uh, ear speaker or maybe it's just a faulty thing in their phone. But my speaker still works completely fine. It kind of sounds it kind of sounds like the person talking on the other end. Is, maybe there's dirt in the speakers or something. Yeah, like well, that. definitely my dad's probably has dirt in it. Yeah. Um, uh, my mom's probably yeah. ha my mom might have dirt or something in there. You know. Yeah. So that, that that's probably why. But it happened about two weeks after they got them and they took them. Mm -hmm to the Verizon store Nothing. and they're like they're like oh we're sorry we can't really do much about that you're gonna have to call Samsung we called Samsung Samsung was super helpful though Samsung was amazing they were like they're like oh do you want us to send a new one do you want us to send you a new uh, Galaxy S7 Edge you're like my parents were like no and they would be like we, we'll include it for free we'll, we'll send we'll fix we'll f either fix your phone for you for free or we'll um <laughs> Or we'll uh, just send you a brand new phone if you send if if you send us back your phone. We'll just completely send you a brand new phone. We're so sorry. That's probably it's probably and they they actually said this because I was on the phone. I was like with them too. Um, they're like, it, it's just like, it's um, it's complete. It's probably dirt or something in there, but we can completely uh, com send you a new phone if you want. My parents were like, "No, we'll just stick with it," because they normally use speakerphone anyway. So, yeah. Yeah. So well, Samsung that's... definitely has really good customer yeah. support because it was about two yeah. weeks after, and they were like so apologetic, and they were like, they're just trying to, yeah, <laughs> they're they're trying to send us a new phone. I if I was Samsung. Yeah, they 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 were just offering to send us a new phone, and then my parents got an email when the Galaxy S8 came out. They're like, "We can we can send you a Galaxy S8 uh, half off because they they like record all our calls, you know." And mm -hmm. so they basically emailed my parents, and they and my parents are like, "Like, should we, John?" I'm like, "No, um, just wait, just wait two years, you know. You normally use speakerphone, so yeah." What? Why won't you get an S8 half off? That was bad advice. Well, the thing is, the thing is, is that like I'd rather get, I'd rather wait for them to come out with something innovative, instead of instead of ba yeah, instead I of basically understand. the S7 Edge with just the Infinity Screen, yeah. and and yeah, still a slow phone. Mhm. Mm and that's another problem I have with the the Note 8. It's really it's the same phone as S8, and like with their marketing, what basically here's their marketing: the display is bigger. The S Pen is back, and my problem with the the S Pen is that um, that's nothing new. It's been around. It's I been mean, it's been around since the Note One. And here's the problem: the the literally, here's my problem: they're re advertising the Note Seven with a bigger screen. Like the Note Seven had all like most of their keynote. Their keynote was so long and drawn out. They were just talking about features like split screen. That's been around, that's been around for a while, mm -hmm. and you know, I think since the S five, probably sooner. But another thing is like they're like, it has good low light photos, and it's like everyone should expect that on a smartphone in twenty seventeen. So there's nothing that like, and, and it's like do more with a high performance, and it's like my problem with that though. Is the, it's it's not high performance, and they talk about the six gigs of RAM. It's like most of that RAM is being used up in the operating system, and the Samsung VR. I mean, that's fine. I have no problems with that. Yeah, I was actually thinking about and, getting one for the S uh, seven just so I could have that. And I'm like, and I was like, I'll just wait until yeah. I'll just wait until I get a new phone, you know, because I'll get it with yeah. it. Yeah, and then my problem, like you know, Samsung Dex. What do you think about Samsung Dex? 
Uh, I think it's it's useful if you're on the go all the time, uh, and you like you just bring like you know one of those little portable uh, monitor things, you know one of those little portable monitors. It's kind of like a tablet, yeah. but I mean it's it's use it's useful if you're a business person. If you if you're constantly traveling and you don't want to take a laptop with you, you only want to have one device, you know, because it's 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 about it's probably about as fast as a uh, what are those called the, the surfaces. You know, maybe mm-hmm. just a tiny it's bit slower. Fast. Maybe just t- the surfaces have like quad core. No, they have dual core i7s. Hmm. It's probably as fast as like a um, Intel Pentium. Hmm. I don't know. Pro- no, pro- 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 probably an i3. Probably an i3. It's probably as fast as like a Apple A8 chip. It's as fast as the iPhone 6s. That's what it is. Yeah, because that's about what it is equivalent. So, iPad Air 2, stuff like that. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not really that fast of a phone, so that's why I don't I don't like the marketing that. I, mm-hmm. Although, I think it would be better if you just carried a laptop around with you, because I have a gaming laptop, and it's really thin, you know? But uh, we have to send it back to MSI before we go to Disney again. Uh, because it broke. Because it broke. They did a horrible job fixing it. So, mm-hmm. I mean, it's, 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 it's either we ask for a refund... Or we just get them to fix it, and we make sure they fix it good. You know, we ask for a complete refund, and we buy a different refund. laptop. You know, I would say I want my money back. This thing is like really crappy. Well, no, the thing is, we 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 would do it. We would do it. Um, we would we would send it back to them, and if if it breaks again, we're just gonna ask for our money back. Because we had this yeah, happen once before. I, you know, I would I would great. yeah I would get a razor probably or maybe an Asus. Mm, Asus ROG. Razor. You know what I think of when I think of issues? What? I think of like some boring dinosaur. <laughs> I th- when when I think of issues, when I think, I think I th- of razor, I think of like some plasticky computer. When I think of MSI, I think of quality, but obviously that's the wrong thing to think of yeah. because it broke. So. Well, whenever I think of ASUS, I think about my com- my main computer because everything in here is ASUS, ASUS ROG. Uh, there's ASUS oh. the the motherboard and the graphics card are ASUS Strix. Yeah. Definitely. So that's that's definitely um. Although I pro- I probably would get a razor because I'm a razor fanboy. <laughs> yeah. So definitely, definitely. I'd probably so, get a 2016 you know, razor blade though. Just, yeah. Just because like the new ones are are pretty, they're they're good. But I mean. Maybe I should get a new one, but maybe I shouldn't. I'm not entirely sure. Let let us know down in the comments below. Let us know in the comments yes. below. Yes. So definitely with the um let's going back to the essay. We Note need eight. to realize that this is Do you agree that the essay sorry, going back to the note eight. So, they're talking about artists. Do you think that artists would use an S8? Sorry, a Note 8. Do you think an artist would use a Note 8 to draw pictures and paintings? Maybe if they were stupid. Yes. Or if they had to. Or if or, or so, if, they, or if they were, like, being forced to. Yeah. They, so, that yeah. marketing... So, you agree that that marketing is pointless and False. really isn't that useful? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so sure, then, sure, I would use it for art, but, I mean... Like I'm, a, I'm yeah. an amateur artist compared yeah. to other people. Yeah. So plus I could just do plus agree? I could just doodle whenever I feel like. But I mean, like professional artists, they'd rather use a tablet, probably. You know. Yeah. iPad Pro. Uh, mm, maybe. Cause that has the best pencil. It 120 reset refresh rate. The Surface Pros, I mean, you might say Surface, but it's like, mm-mm. I use those, and it's really not a good experience. The end of it breaks, like it's in theory. Don't you think you should be able to drop a Surface Pen and not have it break? I mean, yeah, pencils. You can drop a pencil and it won't break. You can drop a pen and it won't break. But if you drop a Surface Pen, it is broken and gone. If you drop an Apple Pencil, perfectly fine. It's just the Surface Pen is really the the crappiest thing ever. No offense to anyone who worked on it at Microsoft, but I mean, really, it's not that good. It's not good. It's bad. So right now, I think we should go through each one of Samsung's marketing about the S8 and see what they say about it. So, you yeah. know, first thing, do bigger things, Galaxy you know. So, first thing they say is do bigger the things. Infinity display. 
yeah. what they say do bigger things and it says see the bigger picture and communicate in a Jeez. whole new way with the galaxy no day in your hand bigger things are just waiting to happen so here's the thing that tells me the exact same thing that they said about the s8 so uh -huh. i mean that's basically s8 nothing yeah. new there i mean point one inches is not going to make bigger it's, things happen here it also says uh the infinity display the infinity display that's larger than life. It says, so basically yes, underneath that, that, it says in infinity display, 6.3 inch <laughs> display, 18.5, uh, 9 uh, uh, aspect yeah. ratio. And it's, and it's a whole and it's a whole tenth of an inch bigger than the S8. Yeah. So, you know, that makes, sorry, S8 plus all the difference. All yeah. the difference. And, you know, this is just, this is just like, really, they're, they're, ta they're advertising 0.1 inches of a display. I mean, you know that there's a problem right there. So, I mean, you know, the display is, is quad HD, same thing, last one. You know, they have two color options, which I really hate. Yeah, they, they really should have I, more color midnight options. Midnight Black's fine. Orchard Gray is ugly. No offense. Yeah, no, it is really ugly. It is really yeah. ugly. Offense intended, then. And then, um, and then the S Pen, you, we already agree, artists aren't going to use it. Like, yep. it's, it's just, yeah. And then photo is better in low light. That's something that's expected. Yeah. And, um, it says you know, they both have optical image stabilization, but, you know, that's something that should have happened on the iPhone 7. It didn't. But, you know, that's that's going to happen on the iPhone 8. It's going to happen on all the phones pretty soon. So, mm -hmm. you know, and it, plus you you expect a better camera on a phone. You should expect that. So that's really not, I mean, sure, it's a better camera, but, you know, you're not going to get good low light photos with the phone anyways. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I know that from experience because... The 5D Mark IV literally will murder a smartphone. So, yeah. So, you know, we can both agree you're not going to take any, like, amazing pictures with this yeah. phone. You agree? I definitely... And then I mean, well, I mean, if if, if if you're just, like, just a small, it, like, small Instagram. photographer. Instagram photos. Yeah, you're going to take really good Instagram photos with this yeah, phone. Yeah, you're an Instagram photographer. Yeah, well, I, I'm technically an Instagram photo, f photographer, but I use I use a DSLR yeah. for most of my good quality photos. Yes. So I I know, use a DSLR okay. with a with a really good with a really good lens, really good like really expensive lens too. Yeah. They cost as much as a camera, which means so. the camera is really crappy. The no, can the ca no the camera is really crappy. Believe me, I agree. Yeah. Okay. And I can camera. I cannot <laughs> I cannot wait to get a Canon because like the thing is I have a Nikon D thirty three hundred, one of the cheapest yeah. Nikon uh, I feel bad. Ni Nikon cameras. Okay. It doesn't have a flip-out screen, autofocus, or anything like that, okay? Yes. I don't even think any of the Nikons have flip-out screens or autofocus, so, I mean... They do, but not that good. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, the Canon is really great, but here's the thing I realized for video. Other than the Mark IV, really, the Sony a7R Mark II is the best camera Yeah. for video. It does 4K, mm -hmm. but really, honestly, the best camera for video is going to be the Osmo 2 because it's going to shoot raw video and it's going to be 5.2K. Yeah. Which will be awesome. Well, I mean, I mean the best the best for like someone like me, you know, who does a variety of things. I do gaming videos, I do unboxings, I do vlogs. I personally think that a Canon Rebel T7i would be good for for me personally. But that's because yeah. it has it's like he 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 does he does really good quality vlogs. Um and the Osmo would be good cuz it's stabilized, you know, whereas I have a vlogging yeah. camera specialized for that for vlogging whereas the um i'd i'd use the nikon for photos though because it's the one my it's, well, the, it's the only one my dad who knows how to operate so well here's the thing about photos the canon rebel will be better i know yeah, so. i completely know that so let's yeah. it's, it's but Back it's the, the thing is i'm saying Sorry. it's it's the uh it, this is the only camera my dad my dad knows how, my dad knows how to work so eventually i'll teach him and then he'll take better pictures yeah cameras are easy to use. so yeah mm -hmm. so next thing um so, then they're talking about performance. They're saying it's a high-performing phone. It has mm -hmm. a 10 nanometer processor with 6 gigs of RAM. Yeah. An expandable memory, which I don't believe is right. Expandable well, yeah, memory. Yeah, you can. Samsung, yeah, you can. That would be called RAM. Victor. It's expandable storage. Expandable storage, yeah. Water yeah, and I'm dust sure resistant. Okay. That's nothing new. So connect, there's nothing new there. Connect to a yeah. bigger... F to connect to a bigger world with phone plus what 
Yeah, yeah. Samsung Dex, we agree. Samsung Slow, Dex, Big Speed, Big Speed Gear VR. The Gear VR, the yeah. Gear VR is pretty cool. It, That's cool. I like. But I, I, I Gear, I'd get that. <clears throat> The 360 camera is really crappy because it overheats mm-hmm. in the sun all the yeah. time. So, but you know, in reality, like the only thing that's somewhat cool is the VR. Um, you know, Samsung Dex. I mean, some people might use it, but mm-hmm. it's see here. I call my Surface the word machine, <laughs> and Samsung Dex isn't even a word machine. So I mean, we we just gotta move on. Yeah. Um. So, and then they're like. So now they're talking about smart switch, mm-hmm. and you know, I really hate that. Um, yeah, it's... they're showing, they're mocking another company. Actually, they can't be mocking Apple because it doesn't look like an iPhone. The Google Pixel I hate because they literally show a picture of an iPhone. Mm-hmm. I hate, I hate Google for that. No offense, yeah. but um, yeah. So how come they show it plugged into a guitar? I mean, I don't understand. Um. But either way, I th- I th- I think it's, I think it's supposed to be like a connection line going to the Galaxy S. Uh, yeah, it must go through the guitar cords. Yeah, that's what yeah. Hap- That's what's happening. That's what's happening. But I don't like it when companies do that because like people are not going to switch. Apple people are Apple people. Android people are Android people. I can understand Android people switching a lot, especially with the Google Pixel. Mm-hmm. I mean. One of my one of my disaster. friends. I know was... people who have the Google Pixel, and I'm sorry. There are some weird stuff that they like about it it's mm-hmm. all software and i hate it so i mean no offense intended one of my friends recently switched from an iphone he he was like the biggest iphone lover he switched to a galaxy uh just s7 edge uh because mm-hmm. he didn't want to spend the money for the galaxy uh s8 or s8 mm-hmm. plus well it's, it was his parents his parents didn't want to spend money on him for the galaxy uh s s8 so they got him a galaxy s7 edge um mm-hmm. But 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 his parents both got S eight pluses and he he, he okay. loves it, but that's because that's because he, he's a photographer and it had it he switched from iPhone six to the Galaxy S seven, you know? Mm. So he really just loved it. He loved it. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. You know, different people like different things and you yeah. gotta respect that. Um I mean, I do understand, you know, some people are Samsung people. Mm-hmm. And that's fine. We can all live in peace together. As a yeah. society, but you know, I ha- like I do have lots of reasons why I like Apple. Mm-hmm. And I have I have a lot of reasons. Many why I like reasons Samsung. why you don't like it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But the thing is, like, it it's it's just really an opinion thing. Because me, software is a lot more valuable than hardware. Um, because you, software is what you're interfacing with. Hardware is what's powering the computer. Like, yeah. I do. I value software than most people, and and then people say that's hypocritical because I don't like Android and that's ultimate freedom of software. But here's the thing: I don't need freedom of software. I would rather just fit into what Apple wants me to be because you know that's it's a set path. With Windows, and you're kind of on your own, and some people are fine with that. Like they they know what they want to do. But me, it's just like computer, MacBook Pro phone actually i don't have a phone but still but like i like that apple ecosystem and lots of people don't appreciate the apple ecosystem but i mean everyone has their own opinions like that's not important to some people so i totally understand everyone yeah i'm actually i'm gonna actually gonna add more storage to my phone because i'm using up a lot of storage on my phone um so i'm gonna add a 120 gigabyte micro sd card to it just so i can have that extra bit you know yeah. So I don't have 150 gigabytes. Holy fire, what's that? Yeah. So, guys, that was our uh, second uh, no, uh, no Face podcast, just our voice. So we want to thank you all so much yeah. for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. To stay notified. Subscribe. Remember to hit that notification bell down below. Victor, what do you have to say? I, I All I have to say is if you're deciding between Note, Note 8, S8, S8, the answer... So thanks for watching. I appreciate everyone everyone listening to this podcast. Um, I hope my audio is good. Enough I hope my because, audio like, is there's good. There's some weird echoing going on and stuff. There ain't no echoing yeah. on my part. <laughs> so yeah. So thanks for listening and watching. Mm-hmm. Stay subscribed. Subscribe if you haven't already. And like the video. Ya.
share with your friends. We'll see you next time. Bye. Live long and prosper. See ya.